So we're here and we're at the assembly stage. Now, as I mentioned at the end of the last video, the assembly is when we go through and we utilize all of, we link all the different parts together so that they create a beautiful solid plane. Um, you can leave some parts so they move. For example, this propeller can still spin because in real life, that propeller still needs to spin. It's about the only part and the wheels need to be able to turn as well, which they do here. So let's get straight ahead. I'm going to talk pretty slowly, hopefully, during this one because it can get pretty overwhelming pretty quickly. So the first thing we need to do is we, we're not going to create a new part today. We're going to create an assembly. So select assembly and it'll take a little bit of a while to load. Once you're in here, the first thing you need to do is actually place an object. Now, we're almost going to work in probably close to reverse order for this come through, click place. So you've got place from content center. If you click down here, you want to go straight to place. You don't want to place from content center because it'll give you the wrong information. Come down, click that bottom arrow there and make sure it's on place. From there, you need to go through and find your files. Now, of course, I need to go to this PC. I need to scroll down and go Samuel Davidson. And then I need to come in and find 2019 plane model. From in here, we have a range of equipment. The first thing I'm going to utilize is the plane body. So I'm going to select that, go open, and it's going to give us the ability to place these. Now, you click once and you place one. The great feature, but also a negative, is that it doesn't exit that. So you could keep placing if you don't press escape and place 12 of these, 15, 1,000. And trust me, we don't want 1,000. You want just one. So to get out of it, just press the escape button. Now I'm going to press control Z to remove the excess. If you place more and you can't press control Z because you find it later, you can click on an object and press delete. I'm then going to come up to our front view, spin it round so I can see the side. And then in fact, I'm going to keep going up to the top view. I think, yeah, I'm going to go to the top view. The first thing we're going to place is we may as well come and place that rear wing the rear tail wing. So you come up and go place, go over to your parts and come down to rear wing and place. Then press escape. Now what we're needing to do here is we need to come through and we need to link in the circle points to points. Now we've only got one circle on this. So I'm going to show you a little trick. When, you, when you're linking things together, we use things called constraints. Now, a constraint is effectively locking something in place, like applying glue or something similar. So come up, select constraint, and it's going to come up with this. And we're going to lose, use a few features in this, but let's take it slow and let's get it done properly. The first constraint you want to do is you want to come through, and if you go to the outside of that circle, the green circle, You'll see that it's going to give you a line, a dotted line going through. And that's saying it's the center point. If you hover over, it'll go circle access. And you can just click yes. Or you can just click that as soon as you see that white line coming through. You can just select that. Then we're going to come through and we're going to select that one. And notice how it just pops up and click that. From there, you press OK. And you'll notice that this is now able to move up and down like that. It's locked in that those two center points stay together so that the two line middle points of the circle cannot move, but this can spin around. What I'd like you to do quickly is we're going to come to the rear wing. I want you to press the arrow to the side and double click or sorry, right click and press edit. Once you you find this again, I want you to come through and you're going to choose the second option here. What that's done is it's actually just flipped the wing upside down and so that we still have access to that circle that we've drawn. Press OK. So you can see the circle that is net there now and it's still in line with that circle there. The next part of constraining is we need to link these two objects together so that they sit flat. So go constrain. 
select the bottom edge there. Now, then you can select the bottom edge of this. Now you can go around and just choose that and you'll see that there's a white line that appears or sometimes it's easier to just flip the thing around until you can see that bottom side that you want and click and press OK. Now it's going to flip your plane around a bit and mess so I always like to try and go back to a front top view so I can kind of see what's going on or even just a top view. What you'll notice now is that um, if I go on a slight angle up here, it's locked in, it sits flat on the plane and it can't go side to side, it can only spin around in circles because we haven't locked in a front edge. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go constrain. Now the shortcut for this constrain is C. Then you're going to choose this front you can choose this front edge here and then you can choose that front edge there. Once again, sometimes it's easier just to spin that front edge there. And we've said, if you come down and look at this box here, that we want those two edges to touch. Press OK. And what you'll notice now is when I select that wing, it can't go anywhere. When you constrain things, you always want to use a three point constraint if you don't want it to move. Three points is generally all you need. And um, if you leave, if you do a two point constraint, often the objects can spin or twist, which is fine for a propeller, but not fine for a tail wing. From here, we're going to go through and we're going to add the rear tail wing on top. To do that, we need to place it. So place, you can also press P for place as a shortcut. Come down and go rear wing vertical, double click it and just place one of those and press escape. As you can see, we've got this sitting here. It can move up and down. It can move anywhere. The first thing we need to constrain is that the center point of this circle here. And underneath here, there's a center point in that circle. Now for me, I'm just going to flip that around until I can see it, zoom in and then go to the outside edge and select that. I'm then going to go OK and let's see what's happened here. And that is joined up perfectly like that. Now once you can as you can see it always stays in line there because it's locked those two center points are always locked together but it cannot but it can shift. Now if your wing is upside down mine is not but if it is come here right click the bottom mate so you click that down arrow come across right click the bottom mate go edit and you can change the direction by changing these of how it's going to join as you can see it changes the body the fate way it's facing so you play with those until this is on the top side and go okay we then need to lock the bottom of this to the face of this like we've just done constrain now you can choose bottom edges or another cool feature is you can actually just choose a bottom edge line. So I'm choosing the bottom edge line there. I'm choosing the top face of that and that has locked those together. Press OK. And as you can see, it is locked in. One of my concerns that I may have just caused an issue is that it's not moving at all, but we'll see. We're going to go constrain. And something you'll notice is over here, every time you do a constraint, it shows you. And you can close those because we don't need to see that one anymore, but we probably do want to see this until it's done. We're going to constrain, and we're going to do something a little different now. We're going to constrain with an angle. So you want to come across to the second, the first type is mate. The second little drawing under type is angle. Select that and just click the rear edge there and then click You'll see how I can see, click that edge there. I'm just seeing the outline. Click that. And I want you to select the directed angle, which is a two point angle. Now that's got that sitting sidewards at, at zero degrees. So we're going to change that over here to 90 degrees. And it's now facing the wrong way. So let's change that to 180 degrees. Struggling here. Let's go one more time. 270 degrees 
And sometimes when you're working in constraints, fiddling with different degree angles to get the right setup is how it goes. And press OK. Congratulations, you've now constrained the rear wing and the uh, yeah the rear wing and the rear wing vertical. We're going to stop the video here so it just doesn't get too large and overwhelming. So once again, congratulations on finishing yet again another video.